Hey, sup y'all, Dog D here. Yeah, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show y'all how you can increase Fruity Loops main memory. Well, that is the memory for Fruity Loops from two gigabyte RAM to three gigabytes of RAM. Now, before you, we get started here, I'd like to tell you if you guys feel confident in computers and you know how to use um, CMD. In other words, if you've ever been on CMD before, which is this little box, it's a it's command prompt box. If you've ever been here, then it's recommended to do this kind of thing. If you've never, probably not. But anyways, I'll get through to you, guide you through it. So basically, this is Fruity Loops, right? If you go to the top of your Fruity Loops, which is the main main panel, you'll notice here on your CPU load, you have a RAM meter that's in megabytes. It's about well, it it's around about two thousand megabytes, which is which adds up to two gigabytes. So what we want is we want to increase the amount of memory. That is the memory for this project file. So that when it buffers, the buffer is able to hold much more information than what the computer can hold for Fruity Loops, that is. Because Fruity Loops is, has a certain allocation amount and in this particular instance, it's a location amount that's available is 1,842 megabytes of available RAM that can be used in this project file. That's why when your CPU climbs up, a RAM is bound to drop. Okay. So first, of, first and foremost, what we can do to make things very, very easy, you just right click here and you, sh you should rather go to show available rather than show used because if we click on show used then we don't know whether it's actually increased or not in this case we know that it's under two gigabytes because it's one eight four two remaining and it's the bar is only just started so the first thing you need to do guys for this to happen is um first hit f1 click anywhere in your playlist and just hit F1 but I'm just going to click this part here you can use this part as well click F1 the moment you're in F1 you notice that the um, FL Studio reference manual comes up now what you need to do is you need to go to main menu panels and two bars which is over here you just open up the um, this um, whole passageway this whole directory then you go to panels then under panels you go to cpu and memory panel which is over here now guys i'm using windows 7 so i will not show you guys how to do it with windows xp because that i don't have unfortunately this is the one that i'm showing you guys is basically this one over here it is 32 bit i just assume that the 32 bit one is actually um it, it is actually more complicated than the 64 bit which is actually easier to do it's just it's a bit more complicated so here basically windows 7 8 and even vista 32 bit so here this is what you would do first of all in order to increase to get three gigabytes of RAM, what we first need to do is under section two over here, highlight this with your mouse. So right now I'm highlighting the entire thing, right? Once it's highlighted, right click and copy. This is the amount that is going to be increased in your FL Studio so that you can have more memory, allocated memory that is, all right? now hit your windows um bar on your keyboard plus e, e i mean um r sorry so now you have cmd type cmd and press okay 
now what you do now is you you should just you just right click not control v but right click and paste and then go press enter and then it says the operation is completed in order for this to work now you would need to close your whole fl studio and restart the computer and only then you'd see the allocated amount increased um sometimes it does show but generally speaking you need to shut down the computer and restart the computer um i will not be restarting the computer because this is a tutorial to show you how to actually do it and if it says this that means it is successful and it will do it so let's just say for instance so now you've got your 3000 megabytes but now you don't want it anymore you want to just go back to the default setting right okay cool very easy you just do the same thing again except you'd copy this part here you'd copy this part over here which is actually going to delete the value which is in this case the incremented value you're going to right click paste and you're going to press enter now it says the operation completed successfully so yeah guys hope you all liked this tutorial like the video if you learned something new and rate and comment thanks a lot guys